Hello, welcome to the video to learn how to create an archive installation of CCH Pro System FX Tax using prior year DVDs. This video shows you how to install 2005 CCH Pro System FX Tax to use as the foundation for your archive installation. After installing 2005 tax preparation, you can install any of the years prior to 2005 that you wish. In this video, we install 2005 tax preparation and then we add 2004. This next step is very important. If you are installing the archive installation to a computer that uses the current version of CCH Pro System FX Tax, uninstall workstation setup before proceeding. For instructions on how to uninstall workstation setup, open your internet browser and go to the URL shown in the video. Feel free to pause this video to complete this step if needed. To begin, put your 2005.09000 DVD in your DVD drive. When the disk auto runs, exit the installation so that you are returned to your Windows desktop. Press the Windows plus R keys on your keyboard to bring up the run line. On the run line type, the drive letter of your DVD drive, colon, backslash, setup, space no sys chk. My DVD drive is drive D, so I typed D colon backslash, setup space no sys check. Then click OK. When the installation window appears, make sure that your DVD drive letter is listed in the CD DVD drive field. I will let the installation download my permission key, so I will keep internet download selected. Uncheck the box next to check available disk space for installation. And then click OK. In the login window, I will enter my single sign on user ID and password. This is the same ID and password that I use when logging into Software Delivery Manager or the Electronic Filing Status Site. After entering my single sign on user ID and password, I'll click Login. In the list of available products, select the products that you want to install. The only products that I will select in this demonstration are Tax Products, Office Manager, and communications. So I'll deselect everything else. Now that I have the product selected that I want to install, I'll click OK. Close the help screen that appears. I want to install all of the tax products for 2005. To ensure that all of the tax products are selected, I will uncheck the box next to tax products. And then I will recheck the box. Now that all of the tax products are selected, I will press OK. The next window asks me to assign the drive that the installation will be installed to. I will select a drive that does not already have an existing installation of CCH Pro System FX Tax installed to it. For this demonstration, I am going to install to my local C drive. However, if you have a network drive that you want to install to, that's fine. Just remember, do not select a drive that already has your current installation of CCH Pro System FX Tax already on it. Now that I've selected the drive that I want to install to, I'll click Assign to Drive. Notice that in the Products section, that the products now have the drive that I assigned the installation to, listed in the Drive column. I'll click OK to continue. Pro System FX Tax is the program group that I want to use, so I'll click OK. I want to install now, and I'll click OK again. The installation will begin. I am going to fast forward through the installation process windows. When the install has finished, uncheck the box next to automatically run Office Manager after reboot. Then click Yes to reboot. After rebooting, I'll take the 2005 DVD out of the drive and put the 2004 DVD in. Again, if the installation auto runs, I will exit out of it. Press the Windows plus R keys on your keyboard to bring up the run line. Just like when I installed 2005, I'll type the drive letter of my DVD drive, colon, backslash, setup, space no sys chk. Then click OK. When the installation window appears, 
Make sure that your DVD drive letter is listed in the CD DVD drive field. I will let the installation download my permission key, so I will keep internet download selected. Uncheck the box next to check available disk space for installation. And then click OK. In the login window, I will enter my single sign on user ID and password. This is the same ID and password that I use when logging into Software Delivery Manager or the Electronic Filing Status site. After entering my single sign on user ID and password, I'll click login. For this demonstration, I want to install all of the tax products for 2004. To ensure that all of the tax products will be installed, I'll uncheck the box next to tax products. And then recheck the box. Then I'll click OK to continue. The installation will ask me to assign a drive to where the files will be installed to. I will assign them to the same drive that I installed 2005, which is my C drive. And then I'll click OK. Pro System FX Tax is the program group I want to use, so I'll click OK. I want to install now, so I'll click OK again. Just like with 2005, the installation will run. I am going to fast forward through the installation process windows. A window saying that the installation is complete will appear when the installation has finished. Click OK in this window. In my Pro System FX Tax Icon group, I now have the 2004 tax preparation icons. I am now ready to use the programs in my archive installation. Thank you for watching the video on how to create an archive installation of CCH Pro System FX Tax. For more information on this process, please visit us at support.cch.com and search for these titles or the article numbers listed below them. You will need to configure Office Manager before using tax preparation for the first time. If you have return files that you have backed up, Article SW44876 explains how to import them into your new archive installation. Also, if you received a database update file create failed error at the end of the installation for any of the years that you installed, Knowledge Base Article KB636 explains how to resolve that issue. Again. Thank you for watching.